Hey, what's up guys? Just out here doing another video. We're gonna go porcini hunting today. We're up about between 10 and 11,000 feet here in Southern Colorado. Here with my friend Shane, you know him. And hopefully we find some mushrooms. We're gonna do a little find and cook video for you guys. We're about 11,000 feet up here. The air's a little thin, so if you hear us huffing and puffing, it's his fault. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Stay tuned. So the Good example of like where porcinis grow is where there's a lot of spruce trees like these moss on the ground we're up between 10 and 11 thousand feet moderate shade in this area anyway in southern Colorado so uh, spruce trees is the first thing you want to look for anyway One thing we are finding a lot of is, is these uh, hawk backs or they, are they pheasant backs or hawk I backs? I call them hawk wings. Ha I mean hawk wings, yeah, because they kind of look like feathers of a hawk. They're but supposedly we'll, edible, but we're not 100% sure. So yeah. We're do some research when we get back. But we might grab a few just just in case we don't find any more porcinis. Just some under here. Pretty cool to find them though. All right, we came across our first porcini. Looks like it's been gnawed on by a squirrel or something. That's look at the size that, of the stems on those things. That is a porcini. And usually, what I do is just clean it up. I'm not really at a good angle, but uh, the sun just came out to blind everybody sorry about that everyone I have a filter on my camera it's, it's okay and just kind of just peel it real thin like a potato because a lot of that dirt's grown into the flesh and you don't want to dirty dirty up your bag and all the other mushrooms so it's good just to clean them up real quick and all that's edible sharing our dinner with the squirrels and I'm probably just going to go ahead and cut off the bitten part. The bitten part, yeah. Mm -hmm. which, which is... I just like to cover back up the hole. But anyway, that's, that's a good amount. No use, no use letting it go to waste. Alright, this is the second one we're finding here. I spotted it from that first one. And I actually spotted both this time. Ross is usually the guy with the eyes, but I got these awesome rays <laughs> eyewear, and they really do make everything so much easier to to see, especially spotting these mushrooms. But look at that. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Oh wow, look at the size of the root. It just goes down. Now the way to pick these things, you don't use your knife. You just pop them. Grab them by the, make sure you hold on the base. Like this. So you pull up all, all it up at once. So these ones here, you, do, you don't cut these mushrooms, you actually grab them by the base down here, and you just listen. <laughs> the most satisfying sound. <laughs> and there oh, you go. Nice. You can see these are a polypore mushroom. You have a bunch of tiny little stalks in here um, that releases the spores. They're like tubes is what they are. Big fat stalk, amber cap gets lighter around the edge and right at the edge it's white and that's a porcini mushroom or the king balit so yeah. we're gonna and if you like the glasses that Shane's wearing they're called Ray's eyewear these ones are custom made for him but they're I'm a very lucky man thank you very <laughs> much Jason these are awesome plus he has this cool clutch guitars gear Available for a limited time. You can get them till August 14th, I think. I don't know when you're going to release this video, but um, come over to my channel. There's a link in the thing for this if you want one. And yeah, cool. Very cool. And we're just going to keep on hunting here. Hopefully find some more porcinis for you. All right, we just came across another porcini. It's a pretty fresh one. Probably popped within the last 24 hours. 
do it. Don't you love that styrofoam? <laughs> that thing's in there. Oh, oh. It's really jammed down in there. It's like a huge root, man. There, look at that thing. Damn, there's even a lot more. There's even more left in the ground. See, I, like, I couldn't get it. Bulk of the meat's in the in the stem. That's why. That's why you like to pull it if you want to get like. Yeah. Edible. Yeah, if you were to cut this, you'd lose all that bottom meat. You'd lose meat. like most of the ninety percent of the mushroom. And, and it, go ahead and explain. Yeah, picking them like this isn't bad. A lot of people claim that if you cut them, you have to cut them, or otherwise they won't grow back. This is not the entire mushroom. I mean, this is the fruiting body of it, but the mushroom itself is the mycelium underground. Which is like, spreads out like... The whole mountainside. Yes. So This is just like picking an apple. When you pick an apple off a tree, it's not gonna kill the rest of the tree. All right, I think that's important to mention in the video, but yeah, I'm gonna clean that thing up. Uh, yeah. We'll throw it in the bag. I think we got enough to do a catch and clean or whatever, a catch and cook. Clean and cook, fine and, and cook, cook. <laughs> whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna take too much off. <sighs> Some porcini. <laughs> Right there it is. You can eat this stuff raw too, right? Yeah. See, that would have been a... All right, we came across a nice little patch here finally. There's one here. One right here. A couple little guys right here. What do you think of these, man? Are these too small? There's one here. Oh, those are. There's two more right here. These ones are. Good. That one's probably too small, but those two are. These are definitely thicker. This one's a little too small. Oh yeah, man. Those are like the perf. Those are like the number twos. I was telling you about like restaurants. This is the choice those size. Are, those are like the ideal size if you're gonna sell them to restaurants. Look at that, man. That's what we're looking for. There's and giant hawkwing mushrooms everywhere too. And there's a here. couple more over here. Found the mother load, well, sort of a mother load. A small one. We found a nice patch is what we found here. Just be careful where you're stepping, because that little one, he was just yeah. poking out. Yeah, we found a patch that somebody obviously missed, because this area has been picked, because we've seen a bunch of turned over. But this is like a new flush, you know? New... These are brand new, small ones. All right. Yeah, these are... Fresh, no bugs at all. Ideal size. Yeah. See, that was that was satisfying right there. <laughs> Sounds good. That was good. Yeah. Feel the weight on this, just those two. Is we got a pound guys? of mushrooms right there. It's over a pound. It's probably, yeah, that's least, about two. Yeah, that's about a pound of mushrooms. At right? least a pound, just in those little two. Yeah, man, they're dense. Awesome. Let's find some more, man. I think we're in a little patch here that somebody missed. I could see my truck from here, I think. Now I really got my eyes peeled for more. I better put on my Ray's eyewear. Link in the description for 25% off if you're interested, but let's go ahead and yank this sucker out. Nice. See any smaller you wouldn't want to pick, but. It's got little bugs on it, but that's normal. Yeah, there's an, as long as there's an... There's a couple more small ones, but we're gonna leave these. I'm gonna let these ones grow yeah. for somebody somebody else to But this is a keeper here. But that one's a keeper. Yeah, these these all right here are perfect. This it's a is good a, thumbnail. These <laughs> are these are restaurant pickers right Hold here. Hold on one second, keep your hand there. Bring my ISO down a bit. Let me do it like this. Yeah. quiet so you can't so you can hear the pluck and just as I was saying we're gonna find a nice patch yeah 
that's a pound easy pound right there if not more check that out <laughs> that's awesome man let's feel that thing that's with a, pleasure that's probably a number, holy that's like a number three dude still fresh enough to where there's fine there might, there might be a few bugs but maybe not here hold this and i'll, I'll cut it Peel like a potato. This is just how you process porcinis after you find them. You just want to peel them real thin like a potato, so you don't so you don't lose a lot of the the meat. And this one's unbuggy. This is a, this is the perfect. This porcini. is the perfect porcini. You don't you don't get yeah. There's no bugs, man. Look, it is. That is a solid potato right there. That's a perfect <laughs> mushroom, dude. Hold on. Actually, find some. Yeah, I think the Russians. The Russians beat us. All right, we found another picker here. Let's go ahead and pick this baby. Get way under there. I'm grabbing the stem. I'm gonna rock it back and forth to loosen the stem. I love that sound. That's a nice one too. Yeah, that's perfect. It's a perfect number three right there. Unbuggy. That's exactly what you want to find. Peel it like a potato so you don't lose a lot of the flesh. Nice and thin, the best I can. You know, I'm, I'm kind of of a savage, but oh, that was too deep. Nah, that's good see, enough. This one has like more meat on the top, which is rare. Though. Yeah, that's a nice one, man. That is. That's that's cool. Yeah. Right on. Porcini. It's a porcini. We don't have a back garden. Yeah. Found this nice hidden one behind a rock. Oh, it's big too. Oh, I think I ripped it. Oh, I got it. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's look nice. at the size of that. That's, that's cool. Right on. <clears throat> Perfect, man. That's a that's an ideal porcini right there. We're gonna have enough for a good clean and cook here. What do you think? Oh, we got more than enough now. We got five, ten, no, we got. We have enough for like a few meals. We got five or six pounds. Yeah. Enough for a few porcini video, Look at that. meal videos. Awesome, man. <laughs> That's great. Right on. Go for it. See, there's the mycelium right there. You could actually see it coming up to the surface. All that white stuff is mycelium and it just fruits up like that. Cover that up. That was a satisfying pluck. Would you like to cut that apart? There's a little centipede. Let's see if it's buggy. Because you tell just by... Not bad. A few. There's, there's a little... It's a keeper, man. You could definitely keep it. I don't know it. about the cap, though. It's all... See, these... These pores you could you could peel off, like when you cut it off. There's a layer, and they just come right off like that. Oh right, and, that, and that's edible, and that doesn't have any worms in it. Mm -hmm. I bet you the cap is probably the best part to keep on this one. There is some worms in it though. See, the reason I wouldn't want to put them in the same bag because those worms might try to get into the. We'd have to put this in a separate bag. Yeah. But this is definitely you could definitely make make, make a rub out of that. Cool. That's a keeper, man. We already picked it. It'd be a waste yeah. if we didn't take it. All right, guys. This is all we. This is what we found. We came up here about two o'clock. It's about five thirty-six now, and it's a good amount. It's probably about three to four pounds, maybe, of mushroom. This one right here weighs at least a pound. It's real heavy and dense. These are like real heavy, dense mushrooms. They're like potatoes. 
So there's probably, that's, that's why I say there's probably easy three or four pounds here. But uh, yeah, we're gonna take this back to the house. I got some T-bones. I'm gonna do a little fine, clean and cook video for you guys. We'll get back to you. Hey guys, just back at the house now. Uh, just got back a little while ago. It's a fun day hunting up there. I need some porcinis with Shane. And uh, yeah, he had to go home. He had a two hour drive back up to Golden. So he, he couldn't stick around for this part. But anyway, I'm gonna cook up some porcinis now. Got a nice T-bone steak there. I'm gonna cut up some porcini along with some sweet Vidalia onions. And it's not gonna go in there. So here we go. Right, I think first I'll just season up the steak before I start sa sauteing up the mushrooms and onions. Got a little bit of this uh, Everglades seasoning here. It's pretty good stuff out of Florida. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of that on it. Goes good on all meats pretty much, chicken and fish. And add a little layer of that. Put a little bit of black pepper. And throw a little bit of throw a little bit of some garlic flakes on there. I don't really have any fresh cloves to cut up, so this will have to do just some minced garlic. Yeah, just flip it over, just do the same thing on the other side. And that's that. Alright, now we're just gonna take we'll just take a couple of these smaller porcinis. Probably these two right here will be enough for my steak. And I'm just gonna start slicing them. Maybe about a quarter inch thick. I just like to slice them vertically like that. Look at that, you start getting a nice beautiful shape of the porcini. Pretty cool. And these are a mushroom that you could eat raw. These and they taste good. Real fresh. Nice mild flavor. Be great in a salad just just like that. A little salt and pepper but these ones we're going to saute up and make, put it, make with the steak <clears throat> anyway keep going here all right next we're going to slice up a little of this sweet vidalia onion i'm just going to do about the same thickness on the onion too quarter inch slices just like that, that should be enough right there I'm just cooking one steak alright we got the flame on at a medium high heat just gonna get these onions and porcini sautéing a little bit of extra virgin olive oil I'm gonna add the porcini and sweet Vidalia onions, the olive oil, and start frying. Yeah, it's gonna go in the stir. Incorporate all that olive oil on each side. Turned it down to 
for medium low heat. I don't want them to burn. I just kind of want to saute them. I think I'll season these with a little bit of salt and pepper. A little salt. Pepper and probably just a little more of this Everglade seasoning, just a little tiny bit, a little flavor. That's about it right there. All right, I just want to keep keep stirring them. the porcinis and onions are about done doing their thing porcinis have a nice golden brown look to them onions are a bit translucent so I think these are done I'm just gonna put these in some aluminum foil keep them warm while I do my steak yeah I'm just gonna gently slide in the our t-bone steak here Oh, hear the sizzle. Hear the sizzle, boy. Flipped it over. I'm just gonna add a little butter. Let that do its magic there. Put a little more on there. There we go. The steak is done. gonna throw the porcinis on top of there. The porcinis and sweet Vidalia onions are still warm. Still nice and warm. Smother them over like that. Alright, finished product, T-bone steak, porcini and sweet Vidalia onions, from the forest to the plate, hope you guys enjoyed it, and yeah, well, let's do a little taste test. Alright, let's try a little bit of it, see how it came out. Takes a little bit more overdone than I like it, but what can you do? Uh, yeah, try a little piece of porcini. Mm. Mm, this porcini came out perfect. It's like a nice little sweet taste from the onions and oh, these porcini's kind of have got like a kind of a bit of a squashy taste too. Let's get a little onion and porcini with the piece of steak. Came out good. 
come out good. Let's get a nice fat piece of porcini. Nice piece right there. Piece of steak. Let's see. all right guys well i'm gonna end the video here hope you guys enjoyed the video i want to thank shane for coming out with me today also go check out his video i'll leave a link to his channel in the description below he'll also have a uh, his own video on today's hunt i think he's also going to do a cooking video too so check that out and yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of the steak. Mmm.